Hello, dear brothers and sisters, it is a pleasure to welcome you to another powerful psalm that inspires and strengthens us. Today, we will delve into Psalm, an inexhaustible source of comfort and faith. I invite you to join me on this journey of reflection and spiritual renewal. Let's explore together the depths of this psalm, 121, and discover the transformative truths it offers us. Psalm 121 is lyric poetry deeply rooted in the Judeo-Christian spiritual tradition, celebrated for its message of trust and divine protection. This psalm, like many others in the Book of Psalms, is attributed to King David a central biblical character and historical figure revered by the people of Israel. This psalm is often described as a pilgrimage psalm, or Song of the Steps, suggesting that it was possibly recited by pilgrims traveling to Jerusalem to participate in the religious festivals. These pilgrims sought comfort and divine security on their journey, and Psalm 121 offered a source of hope and protection as they faced the challenges of winding roads and harsh conditions. The structure of Psalm 121 is marked by a progression of trust and certainty in divine providence. It begins with a declaration of looking to the mountains for help, symbolizing the search for something greater and transcendent in the midst of life's difficulties. The psalmist recognizes that his help comes from the Lord, the creator of heaven and earth, implying a firm trust in God's sovereignty and power over all things. The psalm continues to emphasize God's constant watchfulness over his people. Not only does he promise protection from physical dangers, such as tripping or being affected by the sun or moon, he also promises spiritual preservation, guarding the souls of those who trust in him. This promise of divine protection encompasses not only the present but extends into the future, ensuring the continued safety of those who walk with God. The image of the Lord as guardian and protector permeates throughout Psalm 121, conveying a sense of security and unshakable trust in God's loving and caring presence. It is a poetry that echoes through the centuries, offering comfort and encouragement to all who face challenges and uncertainty on their spiritual and existential journey. Psalm 121 is a poetic composition deeply rooted in the Judeo-Christian spiritual tradition, revered for its comforting message and divine assurance. Attributed to King David, a central figure in both the Bible and the history of Israel, this psalm is an expression of trust and protection in God. Considered a pilgrimage psalm, or Song of the Steps, it is suggested that it was recited by pilgrims during their journeys towards Jerusalem to participate in religious festivals. These travelers sought divine comfort and security on their journeys, and Psalm 121 offered them hope and protection amid the difficulties of winding roads and adverse conditions. The structure of this psalm follows a progression of trust and certainty in divine providence. It begins with the image of looking at the mountains in search of help, symbolizing the search for something transcendent in the midst of life's tribulations. The psalmist recognizes that his help comes from the Lord, the creator of the heavens and the earth, demonstrating an unshakable confidence in God's sovereignty and power over all things. The psalm goes on to emphasize God's constant vigilance over his people. Not only does it promise protection from physical dangers, such as tripping or being affected by the sun or moon, but it also ensures spiritual preservation, guarding the souls of those who trust in him. This guarantee of divine protection encompasses not only the present, but extends into the future, ensuring the continued safety of those who walk with God. The image of the Lord as guardian and protector permeates throughout Psalm 121, conveying a sense of security and unshakable trust in God's loving and caring presence. It is a poetry that resonates through the centuries, offering comfort and encouragement to all those who face challenges and uncertainty on their spiritual and existential journey. Now we will meditate on Psalm 121, and then we will say a prayer and then we will pray the Our Father. 
I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills, from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth, and even forevermore. I now enter your presence once again, Lord, to ask you for strength so that I can overcome all difficulties, all problems. Lord, I know it's not easy, but I know you are with us. So, through this prayer I come to ask once again that you give us strength to overcome everything that comes from the enemy, so that we can resist trials and problems. I know that your daughter, your son, goes through so much struggle, Lord, that she even thinks about giving up on life. But I know that you give us strength, Lord, just as you gave strength to Elijah in that desert. You sent an angel to lift him up with water and bread, so that he would not give up on your promises. So, Lord, make sure we don't give up on the promise that you have for us. Give us strength, O Father, to face each day with courage and faith, knowing that you are with us at all times. May your light illuminate our path and guide us through the shadows of doubt and fear. May your love surround us and sustain us, strengthening us on our journey. Give us, Lord, the perseverance to move forward, even when everything seems difficult. May we fully trust in you, knowing that you are our refuge and our strength. Lord our God and beloved Father, once again I enter your presence to intercede for the lives of each person subscribed to this channel. You know everyone's hearts, Lord, and you know the anguish and bitterness that many face. Whether due to debts to be paid, loss of loved ones, addictions, illnesses, or any other trials, I ask you, Lord, to enter the lives of these people with your purifying light. May your presence dispel the darkness that plagues them, bringing comfort and peace. For those who cannot sleep at night, may your hand calm them and grant them the rest they need. Bless each one of them, Lord, because even though I don't know their struggles, you are knowledgeable about all things. Strengthen them, Father, as it is written in Psalm 23, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Help them to rise up, to find hope and comfort in your word. May they feel your presence guiding them in the midst of adversity, and may they experience your restorative love. Amen. Lord, I come to you in search of help for these people who are here. I ask you, Father, not to allow them to lack anything. Take care of the table of your sons and daughters, O Father. Hallelujah. May your name be glorified and sanctified. Take their lives in your hands, Lord. Hug each one of them and cover them with your mantle of love. Lord, heal all the wounds, ease the tightness in the heart, the weight on the back when waking up in the morning. Free them from all evil, from every attack from the adversary. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I rebuke the evil one and bless your sons and daughters. Open a door of employment for those who are unemployed. Cure them of every disease. Visit them with your angels and protect them from all evil. Deliver them from their afflictions. For I know that you are holy and that it is not easy to live in this world. But with your strength, Lord, we are more than conquerors. Amen. Lord, I beg you to place your angels in the home of each of these who are here to protect them and their families. I ask you, Lord, to free those who are trapped in the addiction of drinking and drugs to lead them away from all evil. Embrace your sons and daughters, Lord, and remove all insomnia, 
weakness and sadness from their lives. May those who find themselves downcast within their homes be comforted by your presence. Free them from depression and anguish, Lord. May they feel your transforming love in their hearts. For those who feel unable to leave the house due to depression, set them free, Lord. Visit them and sow your love in their hearts. May they find strength and courage in you to face each day. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Glory to God. As we conclude our reflection on Psalm 121, we find not just an ancient poem of faith, but a timeless testimony of human trust in divine presence and care. This psalm transcends the boundaries of time and culture, touching the hearts of people in all walks of life, regardless of their religion or belief. The message of hope and protection found in Psalm 121 resonates deeply in times of adversity and challenge. In a world filled with uncertainty and danger, this psalm offers an anchor for the soul, a promise that we are not alone in our journeys. He reminds us that there is a transcendent power, a God who watches over us, who neither sleeps nor dozes, but is always attentive to our needs. Furthermore, Psalm 121 invites us to reflect on our own spiritual journey. Just as ancient pilgrims sought comfort and security on their pilgrimage to Jerusalem, we too are on a constant journey toward a deeper understanding of ourselves and our place in the universe. On this journey, we encounter challenges and obstacles, but we also encounter the promise that God is with us every step of the way. As we meditate on Psalm 121, we are invited to renew our trust in divine providence and to commit to a life of faith and trust. We are reminded that just as the mountains stand tall on the horizon, God's goodness and love are constant and unchanging in our lives. Therefore, may we cling to the words of this psalm in times of tribulation, finding comfort in the certainty that the Lord is our guardian and protector now and forever. And may we share this hope and security with everyone around us, becoming instruments of divine peace and love in this troubled world. Thus, Psalm 121 will continue to inspire and strengthen future generations, guiding us through life's journey with unwavering faith, courage, and confidence. As we reflect on Psalm 121, we find not just an ancient poem of faith, but an enduring testimony to human trust in divine presence and care. This passage transcends the barriers of time and culture, touching the hearts of people in all walks of life, regardless of their religion or belief. The message of hope and protection contained in Psalm 121 resonates deeply in times of adversity and challenges. In a world filled with uncertainty and danger, this psalm offers an anchor for the soul, a promise that we are not alone in our journeys. He reminds us that there is a transcendent power, a God who watches over us, who neither sleeps nor dozes, but who is always attentive to our needs. Furthermore, Psalm 121 invites us to contemplate our own spiritual journey. Just as ancient pilgrims sought comfort and security on their pilgrimage to Jerusalem, we too are on a constant journey toward a deeper understanding of ourselves and our place in the universe. On this journey, we encounter challenges and obstacles, but we also encounter the promise that God is with us every step of the way. As we meditate on Psalm 121, we are urged to renew our trust in divine providence and to commit to a life of faith and trust. We are reminded that just as the mountains stand firm on the horizon, God's goodness and love are constant and unchanging in our lives. Therefore, may we cling to the words of this psalm in times of tribulation, 
finding comfort in the certainty that the Lord is our guardian and protector, now and forever. And may we share this hope and security with everyone around us, becoming instruments of divine peace and love in this turbulent world. Thus, Psalm 121 will continue to inspire and strengthen future generations, guiding us through life's journey with unwavering faith, courage, and confidence.